My name is Marty Regano and I've been married 18 years to a U.S. Army soldier. His name is Keith. Um, his whole life has basically been, well, his father's been in the military. And we also have a 14-year-old. He just turned 14. His name is Luke. Um, he's our younger one, of course. He was born in Europe. So it's interesting. My children don't know any other life but this life. I met my husband um, when I was in high school. And he and I went to the same high school. He and I started dating. And we've been together ever since, in 18 years. My children and I, we've been through many, many, many deployments. Um, in the Army nowadays, they only consider the big mass deployments, like to Iraq or Afghanistan. But my husband's been to several other places, but also for a shorter amount of times, like six months, seven months, eight months, um, several schools. So in all in all, out of the 18 years we've been married, he has been home for three anniversaries. <laughs> um, I'm hoping this year will be four. Yeah, he, he has missed my birthday. Oh my God. Um, I think he's been here maybe for four birthdays. He's missed our younger son's birthday numerous times. My older son, he's been a little bit more fortunate. He's born in December, so he's had his dad around a little bit more. He's missed Christmas about five times. Okay, so. It's kind of interesting, but when we used to live in Hawaii before we were stationed at Fort Carson, um, there was a group of us that made a tradition of going to other welcome home ceremonies. And the reason why we started that was not everybody's married. So when we moved to Fort Carson and my husband, um, units deployed, the brigade deployed, I made it a point, even though there's not a group of us, that I would carry on that tradition. And the reason why I carry on that tradition is you have a single soldier that comes in, or you have somebody whose family cannot make it back, and you want to be there and you want to say, hey, welcome home, and you want to give them a hug. So, so far I've been to 23 of them in the last two weeks. And actually, believe it or not, I have to take off in a few minutes to hit another one. And then I will actually come home and start getting ready for my husband's, which I don't even know how to even explain how I'll feel at that point. popcorn, have some pizza, but then as more and more people get here, you start to feel the energy building and everyone starts getting stoked, and then they start noticing that you can dance like the Macarena and whatnot to the music, and there's kids out on the floor like doing races back and forth, and then finally when the soldiers actually get here, there's so much cheering that I can't even hear myself talk, so I just, I mean that has to be my favorite part of this job, like it never gets old. I have actually a few details under me. I have the special event center detail that's responsible for setting everything up. We've got like some bouncy cages for the kids. We've got smoke machines for when the soldiers come in. The SEC detail takes care of all of that. And then I have my baggage detail out back. they got this big truck that rolls in. We download all the A bags, rucksacks, and line them up. So when the soldiers get back, when they're done with the ceremony, they can just grab up their bag and head home. They don't have to worry about going through a big pile of stuff. And then we have another baggage detail over at the ADAG, where the flight itself is actually landing. So they download the bags off the plane. Here, 
pointing at the cat at the crowd. Uh, we stream it back to the A Day, that way all the soldiers can see their family members when they get off the plane. On the same token, we have a camera pointed on that side, streaming back to here, so when the plane lands, their family members here can see the soldiers getting off the plane.